So a bunch of people are asking online, what's the deal with all the Q's in Colorado license plates? It's something you don't notice until you actually start to look for it. So I decided to get out in the community, not too far from my desk. Let's see how many Q's we can find on this one city block. There's one. This may take a few minutes. In the meantime, we set up an interview down the street. There were three cars with Q's on that block. We also found Lynn Granger. And I'm the director of communications for the Colorado Department of Revenue. She ought to have the answer. Up until about six years ago, we used a font on license plates that made it very difficult to distinguish between the letter Q, the letter O, and the number zero. And that made it really hard for uh, especially law enforcement officials to distinguish between those three. So the DMV only used zeros, no O's, no Q's. Six years ago, they made a slight change to the highway gothic font they use that allows Q's and O's to appear more clearly. And two years ago, they started issuing plates with both letters. Uh, we've had about a rise since the December 2014. Between now and then, we've had an additional 200,000 vehicles registered in the state of Colorado. And of course, that's about the time that we started issuing uh, the Q and the O on license plates. So it would make sense that we would have a lot more of those. There's four. So either the novelty or the sheer volume of newly licensed cars is making people notice. I think it's funny that that's something that uh, people would kind of catch on to and go, hey, that's weird. Back on our block, it didn't seem like a popular letter until the end. 10, 11. Four cars in a row had Qs, making the grand total 12. And since then, I've seen Q all over the place. For next, this is Steve Steger.